So let us now see how can we visualize this sequence using this Desmos, which is a free um, tool and very convenient, very powerful tool. So first we create a list of uh, here 10,000 elements because uh, Desmos has this 10,000 elements uh, list limitation. We cannot uh, have a list with more than 10,000 elements. And uh, so that's the way that we write that n obtains values from 1 up to 10,000 in skips of 1. This is the specification of list, and then we can write the formula for our sequence. This is the sequence from the slides, uh, which we have seen, and we will visualize the sequence. So now if I click here, uh, Desmos would plot the first 10,000 elements of the sequence, and we see uh, the sequence uh, as we think of it as a correspondence to each natural number to one that the corresponds to this value when we plug in one into this formula, and when we plug in two, we have this value that corresponds uh, in this formula, etc. And so, um, as I mentioned, we can think of this uh, sequence as being a sampled function. Like uh, th there is a way, right? Uh, there is almost uh, when we look at this, we almost want to, you know, connect uh, the dots in in, in some you know, function or some way to extrapolate it. And there are infinitely many ways to extrapolate, but there we can find a natural uh, function. There, there are infinitely many such functions that would extrapolate this continuously, it's not our, our subject, but if we want to think of this sequence as a sampling of, of, of some function, then we can look at this function. So f of x is this, and uh, the idea is that for natural numbers, uh, the uh, sequence and, and the function in values, they coincide, and for not natural uh, values, this function is, is defined where the sequence is not defined, and the idea is to use the property of a cosine function that cosine of n pi is actually minus 1 to the power of n. And so uh, if we plot this function, we see that uh, these points are kind of sampling of the function. Similarly, if we have a continuous sig signal, for example, a signal of speech where I speak and it's varying pressure of air, and it is sampled, this pressure is sampled at some constant time intervals, and then we see this sequence of numbers which will be stored in the computer and turned into uh, then again uh, an uh, analog signal, right? So in this way, the way we obtain this sequence, it's actually a sequence, uh, it's a visualization, it's a one way and a convenient way to visualize uh, a sequence on a plane, but this is also a sequence of points in the plane. So it's sequence in R2, so there is two ways to think of the sequence, we can think of it. Of course we're interested only in the values a n, but the way we visualize this, here we obtain the sequence in R2 for example. And uh, often we will use it, so uh, at, at we want to, to think of it as a function, as a sequence that lies on one of the axes. So we can take the sequence and project it to the y-axis, and this way we have one-dimensional sequence, only sequence of real numbers, and in this case we think of this sequence when we, uh, uh, if we do not show this, then this is a sequence that lie uh, one dimensional of real uh, numbers that lies on the y axis, and similarly we can think of this sequence as lying on the x axis, and this would be the visualization of the sequence. And so let me plot it this way. Uh, for this video it will be convenient when we want to define the notion of a limit, so it's convenient to think of it this way, because uh, as we can see if we zoom out a little bit, it's going to be harder and harder to see, but this sequence approaches some value. And the farther we go, the closer it seems to be to this value of 0.6 will prove that this is actually the limit. And the farther we go, we see that the closer the element of the sequence are becoming to, 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 to this limit. So we'll have to define this rigorously, but this will be the main focus of this lecture, to rigorously define what it means for a sequence to have limit and what it means to converge. So we see that the farther we go, the closer the elements of the sequence become to its uh, limit, so it's something we'll have to prove that 0.6 is actually the limit of the sequence. So let us go back again to define rigorously what uh, the notion of limit means.